Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to take your seats for panto season. I'm Rebecca McKinney from Cool FM and I'm here this afternoon in the Grand Opera House in Belfast to go behind the scenes of the only panto you want to see this Christmas, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So right now we are behind the scenes in the leading ladies dressing room. I'm here right now with Rachel, who plays... Queen Lucretia. So this is the Wicked Queen. Now you don't look quite so wicked to me, but tell me a little bit about your role. My role, uh, well, Evil Queen obviously clearly thinks she's the most beautiful in the land. She's got issues, Queen Lucretia, <laughs> severe issues. So her desire to be on fleek at all times all means time she has beautiful. a bit of a problem with Snow White, of course. Huge problem with Snow White. Well, she's her beauty can't bear it, needs to get rid. <laughs> needs to get rid of her and if you go and see the pantomime of course you'll find out how she attempts to get rid of her but I saw it on Tuesday night and was so impressed. You have some fabulous costumes. <sighs> Could you pick a favourite in terms yes. of bling? Yes, um, this is my favourite. I love that. That's my, that's my almost my maleficent. You're so maleficent, I'm maleficent in this. Um, I might need to borrow this to take back to Cool FM. What do you reckon? Um, I try it on. It's better than the board, Lucretia. <laughs> this is there she is. So you might not recognise this face. I am in John's dressing room right now, and of course you're putting on your makeup to become the one and only. This McFadridge. May McFadridge, of course. And how are you? I'm doing fine, yeah, yeah, we're getting through this, uh, this run very well, it's, uh, it's very slick, it's very quick, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a great show, really good show, very, very entertaining and it's very enjoyable to do. You do all of your own makeup? Well, nobody else will put the hand up for it. Do you want me to help you? Let me have a look. No. <laughs> There you go, you I've heard it here me? first. He doesn't want me to help his makeup, but I reckon I couldn't do blue eyeshadow no just chance. quite like that. John's ready to go and plan his Megan Trainer number. Yes, that's right, he does a Megan Trainer song in this pantomime. Dear future husband. <laughs> There's a little explicit for you. So we're gonna leave you in peace for more blue eyeshadow and see who else we can find. Now did you know Snow White has a BFF? Well, she does, and I am joined right now by Models, who is Snow White's best friend, Bricky Kay. How are you? Hello there, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Sarah. I'm very good, very good. Tell us a little bit about your character, because you are the funny man in the panto. I am the funny man in the panto. I am I'm Snow White's best friend, but unfortunately, she doesn't fancy me. Aww. I know. What is your favourite part, without giving too much away, of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? I like my entrance. Where your entrance is pretty. Spectacular. <laughs> we can't disclose any more, but no, it's it is different. It's different. Yeah. And I like, I like the routines. I get to do my fairy tale of love, which I did on Britain's Got Talent, which is great. Wow. So you can see that the panto, which is great. It's kind of edited for the show as well, so it makes more uh, sense to the plot. Of course. Yeah, but it's great, and all the kids get involved, the adults get involved as well. So I'm, I'm, I love, I love this part. It's really, really good. Really good. Right now, I am in the presence of a princess. Yes, that's right, I'm in Snow White's yeah. dressing room. Lauren Nevin, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm really good, I'm very excited to be with you. We Aww. saw the show on Tuesday night and you were gorgeous as a princess you. should be. Are you enjoying doing the panto in Belfast? I'm loving it, I think everybody's loving it. That's what everyone's saying, everyone's getting on really well. It's just flying along. Now I'm gonna play a little bit of a panto game with you, if oh, that's dear. okay. Yeah. So you have to do a quick fire round and pick out of each of these which you would prefer. Okay, okay? Good. This, so, I'm so bad at making decisions, but okay. You will be great at this. Yeah. So, Christmas time. Giving presents or getting presents? Giving. Christmas turkey or Christmas ham? Ham. A matinee or an evening performance? <gasps> matinee. Which is happening today. Prince Charming or Prince Chico? Oh! <laughs> Prince Chico! <laughs> of course! <laughs> so what about Cinderella or Snow White? Snow White. Of course it had to be. So this is the leading lady herself. She's about to get on stage and we're gonna go and see if we can find her prince. If I said to you it's Chico time, who would you think of? There's only one man. <laughs> Chico, Prince Chico in fact. Prince Chico today. Welcome to Belfast, how Thank are you? Thank you very much. Uh, dead on as you lot would say. There you go. Dead on. Perfected your Belfast impression now. Can you well, say, what's the crack? What's the crack? That was, that was not quite so good. No? Well, so, what about you, Mapper? That's 
all right. How about that? <laughs> but whenever you're not doing Belfast impressions, you are on stage playing the leading man in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yes, I am. Yes, and it has been a blast uh, on so many different facets. First of all, I'm just in love with Belfast and the people, first and foremost. Secondly, I'm in love with the cast and the story and everything else. And thirdly, um, uh, what can I say? I'm just embracing this whole culture and really proud to be part of this um, wonderful pantomime. an amazing afternoon hanging out with the cast of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs right here in the Opera House. Now you can probably hear behind me the show has just started and I'm going to sneak in and watch a little bit of it but if you want to join us down here then you can get your tickets at goh.co.uk. The pantomime is on until Sunday the 10th of January and we would love to see you here. <laughs>